Hello, everybody. I think I'm live. Welcome back to my Sunday night show. <laughs> Kelly Atchison coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm just going to chatter away here for a little while and wait for people to pop in. And I'm going to get my computer set up. Karen Wetstein. Hi, Karen. Okay. Let me get my comments coming up here so I can see them too. Here I am. Okay. Whoops, I got to turn off my volume. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Julie. Raining North Dakota. We are supposed to get snow. So, rrr. My husband said something about it. Yes, Beth, Tiara, in place. And you know what? It actually holds my hair back kind of nice because um, my hair is growing out now and it's kind of at a goofy stage where it's doing stupid things that I hate. So guess what I did this morning? I cut my bangs and I think I maybe cut them a little short and I maybe cut a little bit too much bangs. So <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go see my girl. <laughs> Get my hair fixed. I know I'm planning on going and getting my nails done on Tuesday with Haley. She's got a job fair. Haley's my daughter. She's in college. She's got a job fair next weekend, so it's getting super exciting. She is student teaching right now, and when the semester is over, she'll be graduating in May with a teaching degree, so super excited, right? Hi, Tammy, Beth, Carol, Linda. So yesterday, Haley and I went to the mall, and we have a fabulous mall here in the Fox Valley. Like, it's huge. And we went shopping for big girl interview clothes. So that was pretty exciting. And as she was trying on blazers, she's like, this is just so weird, right? It just looked so weird for her. Hi, Kay, Noreen, Jenny, glad you could make it. Lucy's here. So we had a blast. We shopped for four hours yesterday. We got a couple blazers. Um, we got a couple pairs of pants. We did a gray blazer, a black blazer, black pants, blue pants, and gray pants, and then a couple shirts. And I can't remember if we got one or two pairs of boots, little, little short boots to go with those. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. And, um... Yeah, so it was really fun and exhausting, like four hours of shopping. And I kept up with her every step of the way. Usually I get like really tired. Blah, blah, blah. I just I'm like, oh, can this be over? And I love to shop, but I don't know. I'm getting old. Getting old. Yeah. Hi, Kay. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome. Kathy, glad you could make it. Why don't you guys let me know where you're coming to me from? Like what state do you live in? And uh, if you're new to my video tonight, to my Facebook Live, let me know how you found me. Did you find me on Pinterest, on YouTube? Did somebody share my video and you're coming to me through them? I would like to be able to thank them. I would love that. Hi, Rose. So, um, just a few things that I wanted to tell you about. Um, I have to announce prize winners. Wah! Hi, Jill from Virginia, Linda from Idaho, we've got Springfield, Missouri with Charlene, Beth from Southeast Wisconsin, Mary Lynn, Washington State, hi, Mary Lynn, Denise Priest, hi, from Washington, excellent, and I'm just reading my screen here, Ella, Ella from Fond du Lac, Elaine, welcome, okay, I'm going to tell you who won prizes from last week's Facebook Live, and I've been having a blast giving away prizes so I'm so excited first of all um, I don't know if Lisa is on yet but Lisa Flynn Meyer you won some fabulous glitter enamel dots and Lisa is from Texas so I'll be mailing out those this week and then we also have oh and um, that was for sharing my video so for sharing my video you're getting some glitter enamel dots and then Denise Krieger from Appleton, Wisconsin, for commenting on my video. I am sending you a pack of our Wood Texture Designer Series paper. Hi, Lori Inderall. Inderdall. I always say that wrong. From Rosendale, I haven't seen you in so long. Um, 
Denise, I'll probably put this in with your order that's coming in, I'm hoping this week, so watch for that. And then for placing orders, I do a drawing, and Brenda Mock, are you on here yet? This is yours, so I'm super excited for you. Shelby, you got your order. Oh, Shelby had a great big workshop. Remember when I did, I think my first Facebook Live, I said I was going to Marshfield to do a workshop for Shelby. And um, it, we had a blast. It was so much fun. Hi, Darlene. Lorraine. Lorraine from the UK is staying up super late tonight to watch me. I think she told me it's about 1 o'clock in the morning there. And Claudia from Kimberly, but formerly San Antonio. Melissa. I know, Lucy. This is like one of my favorite celebration sets, too. I have had a blast with that. And that reminds me, did you guys see... This spinner card that I made, I like got obsessed with spinner cards, and we made them last week on Facebook Live. Facebook Live, but I had to make this one too. So much fun, right? This just makes you giggle. I, I play with it. I pick it up and play with it when I'm on the phone. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for showing me the love. Hi, Beth. Hi, Mattia. Welcome. Okay, what else can I tell you? We're getting um, lots of people are getting on right now. I don't want to get started because. I have the super coolest technique to show you guys tonight. I was just like, it's like magic. And it was brand new. Um, didn't know I could achieve this with the products that I'm using. So that's really exciting. Thank you, Sandy, for sharing. Remember, you guys, if you share my video, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous product. <laughs> and if you comment, you get entered in a drawing. And also, um, when you place a Stampin' Up! order. So I, I have three giveaways on every Facebook Live that I do. Hi, Lisa. Can you guys tell me, is my music in the background too loud for you? Are you, is it annoying? Can I leave it alone? Do you think I should turn it down? Let me know what you think there. Um, just a few housekeeping things. Thanks, Mary, for sharing. Hi, Cheryl from Janesville. Um, I was busy with stamp clubs this week and um, I love my stamp clubbers. So I just kind of wanted to explain, if you're local, I have stamp clubs in Fond du Lac, Nina, and Oshkosh. And we get together once a month and I provide three projects for everybody to um, make. And the class is free with a $15 minimum order. So if anybody's local and they'd like to join me for any of those, you can find my schedule on my blog, www.astampabove.com, up at the top, there's some tabs, and you click on events, and you'll find my, my full schedule is there. I also have a um, card buffet coming up this coming Friday night or Saturday morning. Friday night at 5.30 it starts, or Saturday morning at 9 a.m. You get to choose from 16 different cards. Yeah. And you get to choose eight of them. The cost is $18 or free with a $25 order. And during celebration, oh my gosh, if you add a little bit to that, you get a free celebration item. So hi, Michelle. Shelly, welcome. And Heather. Heather, I wanted to tell you, your spritzers did not come, but I did put a spritzer in your bag, and I will answer your text message later. Get that cleaned up. <laughs> okay. Um... Tomorrow, I am in a blog hop with the color fusers. It's my first time being in this blog hop, and it's a challenge. So we were given four colors, and we have to um, use every single one of those colors, all four, <laughs> in our project. So I had a blast making that. I have a video to go with my card to show how I made it. I think you guys will really like it. Make sure you check out my blog tomorrow um, for that blog hop. Okay. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to tell you, and I think we can get started now. Let me tell you, hi Becky. I'm going to flip my camera around, and here's what's gonna happen. If I happen to push a button wrong, you're gonna be you're on my page right now, okay? If I push a button wrong and shut this thing off or mess it up in some way, shape, or form, you're going to click on the title of my page where it says a stamp above your creative coach. Click on that, that'll refresh your screen, and then I will get back on, okay? I'm always afraid that that's going to happen because, you know, the buttons are easy. <laughs> easy to click. Hi, Sandy Triplet. 
Linda, Carol, welcome. Okay, hang with me. That was pretty painless, right? Uh, here we go. Now I've got to get my stand set up here, so just hang on. I found out there's an app. Whoops, sorry. There's an app. Uh-oh. Are you back? Okay. That was totally my fault. Okay, good. <laughs> I think we're back in business. Oh my gosh. So I swiped my screen by accident and you went away. That's just how easy this can get all messed up. And... Okay, I'm trying to zoom in, but it's not letting me, so I'm just going to leave well enough alone here. Let's get some lights, some camera, and some action going on here so we can see what we're going to make tonight. Did anybody ever mention, is my music too loud? I don't know. All right, here we go. Guess what we're playing with tonight? I kind of told you this, didn't I? I know we're getting some glare on here, but... um. Oh, good. Thank you, Mickey. You can hear the music, but it's not annoying. I just want to make sure that it's not too loud. This is the Springtime Foils Specialty Designer Series paper. And let me get this out of this plastic so it's not blinding you. This paper is free during celebration with your $50 order. And we've got silver stripes here. We've got copper polka dots. We've got this gorgeous silver, or I'm sorry, copper and gold floral paper. The leaves that are silver and gold. And I think that's all the patterns. So I think you get three sheets of each one, I think. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Let me see, what does it say? Yeah, there's 12 sheets total. So three sheets of each one. Um, last week, you guys were so gracious when I did my math wrong. I don't even, re even remember what I did wrong. Oh, it was like six, six divided by something equals 24. And I uh, don't make me do the math. Um, and you'll find this rather amusing. I do have a degree in accounting. <laughs> math is hard, right? Okay. On with the show. I'm just going to bring in my supplies here. I'm not getting... Oh, there we go. Just trying to set everything up and make sure I'm on track here. Get everything out. I actually store all this stuff in a little basket so that I don't look like a complete cluster when I'm trying to get set up because I hate that. Absolutely hate it. So, I've got my blends here, and, whoops, so I have to tell you guys, I've got cords everywhere. This is kind of a nightmare. I hope when I change my desk in my office that I will be able to do something else with cords because it really drives me crazy. Okay, um, we're going to be concentrating on the designer series paper. So the stamp sets that I've chosen, while they are fabulous, you can use just about any greeting. I just like the size of the font in this one. So we are going to be starting with a Calypso coral base. And this is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to burnish my edge here. So it's nice and crisp. And then we've got, um, I found that this paper, while it's not completely vanilla, I felt it went better with vanilla. So I've got vanilla four and a quarter by, no, four by five and a quarter. And then I've got the polka dots that is also the same size, four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a little strip of copper foil paper. Let me see how big this is. This is seven eighths by three and a half. And remember, sometime during this next week, I will be posting all of the dimensions 
and the cards that we're going to make tonight on my blog so that you have a reference point. You can go there and go, oh, here's all the dimensions if you want to recreate them. And then I've got a scrap of the foil paper and a piece of very vanilla that is three quarters by about three and an eighth or so. All right, let's get busy. I've got some embossing to do, and we are going to take our Stampin' or Embossing Buddy. This is just a little kind of like a chalk bag that will help you when you're embossing, especially if you're in the colder states where you get a lot of static electricity during the winter. This keeps your embossing powder from um, sticking to places it shouldn't be. That's a good way to put it. So, um, oh, I forgot, hang on. I'm also using the polka dots from the Petal Palette stamp set tonight on this particular card, and we're using it on another card too. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm just going to stamp my little polka dots right down here. This is my inside vanilla layer. And then I've got a piece of paper here and that's how I pour my embossing powder out and put it back in the container. It's just easy, it's always handy. I've got a drawer here with lots of um, scrap paper in it. There we go. And did I say this is copper embossing powder? If I didn't say that, it's copper because the polka dots on this paper are copper also. We're gonna close that up right away. Because if you've ever blown, <laughs> blown uh, embossing powder all over the place, you would close your containers too. Hang with me while I get this heat set. Kind of tip this in the light and you can see it turning shiny. There we go beautiful and then because I didn't trust myself to be able to stamp this on film on video <laughs> I stamped the greeting and embossed it already because I can do that right all right we're gonna get out our liquid glue and get the inside of our card done now I specifically left the inside of my card with just the decoration on it because I need some cards coming up that don't necessarily need to be a theme, like a birthday or a get well or whatever. So um, by putting the greeting on the front, where did that greeting go? Always thinking of you. You can use this card for anything, right? Absolutely anything. So I'm going to take my always thinking of you and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to cut it first. Hang on. Get my snips out here. Don't put glue on first, cut first, Kelly. And I'm just going to give this a little tag or banner end. Oh, I'm kind of shaky tonight. Maybe a little bit too much Pepsi. Hmm. And add this right to my copper layer. Let's see if I can get that on there straight. That looks pretty good. And then we're just gonna trim it to match. Do you guys have these paper snips or scissors with the really, really pointy ends? That's what you need to get into these corners like that. Our paper snips are really nice. They're super sharp. I've stabbed myself and bled with them before. So keep that in mind. Always be careful with them. Coming in with some dimensionals for our banner here. And I'm gonna add this to the edge or the, the top left side of my card here before I attach it. Just in case if I don't get it even, I can turn it over and cut it off a little bit before I put it together. And now we can add this gorgeous foil embossed piece to the front. Okay, how we doing so far? 
Becky, you love the snips. Lorraine loves her snips. Linda loves her strip. <laughs> Lucy, it's a necessity. You darn right it is, you guys. It is a necessity. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of this floral paper and we are going to color one of these flowers and a couple leaves. So um, these are the stamp and blend alcohol markers and these work really nice on this paper. And I wanna let you guys know, this paper tends to have, it's got like a sheen to it. So it's got kind of a coating over the top of it, which makes it um, react differently to the mediums that you might color on it. I always like to use the darker of the um, stamp and blend. So this is the dark Calypso coral first and everybody has their preference. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm going to outline some of these lines and it, yeah, it sounds like um, squeaky, almost like chalkboardy. I didn't have this doing this last night so I don't know what's up with that. Here we go. Who do we have on there? Ed Sheeran. I like that song. Can you guys hear that? Okay, then I'm gonna come in with the light Calypso Coral. And while we do have a color lifter in case you go out of the lines and make a boo-boo, here's what I found. For one of the techniques we're gonna do tonight with these, with this paper and these markers, um, you don't wanna use that color lifter. It does not do well on this paper with this coating on it. That's the best way to put it. Make sure when you're closing your stamp and blends that you snap that lid into place. Then you'll know that it's absolutely closed. All right. I haven't even used, I shouldn't say this. I've got three of these, I think, because I use old olive a lot, I found. So I just ordered three of them. And now I'm just going to come in here and grab a couple of these leaves. And how about this one? This is the darker color that I'm kind of doing shading with. And now I'm coming in with a lighter old olive. It's funny, my husband came in a little while ago and he's like, are you getting ready for your Facebook Live? <laughs> Which I think is just funny. And I said, yes, I am. And you know what he did? He went right out in the garage. He's out in the garage. We have a, he's made his little man cave out there. It's a good place for him most of the time because he's got a TV out there and we've we got a um, mobile home furnace that's out there. So he turns on the furnace, the garage is heated and life is grand. All right, we're gonna cut out a couple of these leaves. So we're cutting out what I colored. It's kind of hard to cut out when it's far away from me. Are you guys, do you guys stick, stick your stuff that you're cutting out right in front of your nose? I want to stay here so you can see what I'm doing. But on the other hand, I don't want my leaf to look like I failed scissor class either. <laughs> right? Okay. There's one leaf. Let me get my garbage out of the way here. And I'm going to get this flower out of here. Now, I think that it would be a fabulous idea to take a big section of this paper and just color it, right? Just color a bunch of flowers and a bunch of leaves and you could like come out of hibernation in your stamp room, Spend some time with your family, watch a movie, whatever, and you can sit and cut out these images. Are you like that? Do you like hibernate in your stamp room? Because I do, and every once in a while I feel kind of guilty, so I will take something out in the living room that I'm working on, whether I'm coloring something in or cutting something out or something that I can do in the living room that doesn't take a, you know, it's not a big hassle to move it in there just so that I can spend a little time with people. <laughs> yeah, it's not really my idea. I just am, you know, trying to keep everything good. Okay, there's our beautiful flower. 
Yes, Shelly, I love hibernating. No guilt here. Good for you. You go, girl. <laughs> I do, too. Like, I, I spend... Uh, you guys wouldn't believe how much time I spend in my studio. I, I love it in here. It's my space. And I have to show you guys, too. I actually... Um, I'm doing a training, a team training for my demonstrators that just started on Thursday, March 1st. And one of the first things on the week one list of things to do is to get yourself cleaned up. Well, not like me, like my room. And so I started doing that. And even though what I did was just so minor compared to what maybe needs to be done, I was pretty proud of myself because I actually initiated it, took the time to do what I was supposed to be doing. So that was cool. I'll show you what I did. I know you're not going to be as excited about it as I am, but you can um, fake it maybe. <laughs> okay, ready? What is that? Okay, earbuds. Check this out. I know it's really yucky inside, but there's pens that have been in here. This is my little carousel tote, and I actually cleaned it out. And I, own, I have pens and pencils and scissors and um, got it all cleaned out. I had about 50 pens in there. It was totally ridiculous. Like, why do you need 50 pens? It was just insane. Okay, now... Here's what I'm going to do. I've got this cut out, and I'm going to make a little frame. So I've got my stitched shapes framelit here, and let me get my ruler again. This is the one that is going to be about two and three-eighths inches, or two and, you get the idea, two and three-eighths, or something like that. And I am going to cut this out in the Big Shot. I forget. When I'm doing videos, I just go to my big shot and come back. But as long as we're live, I better be showing you some live stuff, right? How am I? Am I in my screen? Yep, looking good. Okay, so this is going to shake my table just a little bit. So bear with me. I'm going to cut out... Let me see if I can put this one in here. I can, actually. You want to be careful doing something like this. It could be very dangerous that your framelits don't move and get on top of each other because you'll ruin them. Ask me how I know that one. Yep, been there, done that. Hang with me, might get a little wiggly. Here we go. So what I've done here is I have created a frame and you can use this for something else. Let me show you the magic. Kind of push your hand or your finger around here to make that let loose from the stitching. <gasps> ah, I know, thank you for showing me the love. How pretty is that, right? Cool idea. This happened by total accident, complete accident. I pulled out my copper foil sheet pack and it had a scalloped circle like this cut out, little scallop circle cut out like this. And I thought, oh, that might look cool on my card. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take this flower and the leaves and let me grab some tape quick. The tape dispenser that's sitting on my desk is sitting on my video stand. And if I take it off of there, my, my phone and video will fall over. So yeah, I've got that all rigged up. So I'm just going to take the leaf behind my flower here. Let's see, this is going, I have to be careful what's going out the, the right side. So I'm gonna just tip that up a little bit. And another little piece of tape here. Oops, I can see that tape. Hang on, that will never ever do. Good thing I have my snips. Oops. There we go. Okay, then we're gonna go with this leaf. And this one can stick out a little, little bit. I think I like that. And I'll just put a little piece of tape on there. Now, 
we are going to mount that on this copper circle. Is anybody else going, ah? Oh. Doesn't that look cool? I don't know. I was just really impressed with it. Okay, then where'd my dimensionals go? Here they are. We are going to mount the dimensionals on the flower, and I'm gonna put three of them on here. Are you ready for this? This is, I thought this card turned out so pretty. Thank you for the love, you guys. Thanks, Lorraine. I thought it was beautiful too, right? Look at this. I did not put dimensionals on my circle, just on my flowers. Do you love it? I love it too. Thank you guys so much. I like had enough. You know when you make something you're like, oh my gosh, look what I made. That's how I felt about this. And it was all just a mistake with the scallop circle that was cut out in the middle like that, that, that brought me to this place. And yeah, it is beautiful. And now I can use this card for anything. I can use it as a thank you. I can use it as a get well card. Um, I could stamp happy birthday in it and use it as a birthday card too. So thanks you guys. All right, are we ready for the next one? Let's keep moving along here. Let me um, set my card over here and get some of this stuff out of the way. Blends, copper powder. Might need that Versa mark again, I'm not sure. All right, whoops. Here comes the next one. Ooh, pretty, pretty colors. We are going to use Rich Razzleberry and Elegant Eggplant together. I love these colors together. And here's what I did. I've got um, Elegant Eggplant. This is four and a quarter by 11. It's scored at five and a half. And I'm just going to burnish that edge good. And then I've got a layer for the inside. Again, four by five and a quarter. And then I took a piece of the striped silver foil paper, and this is cut at two by four, and then a piece of the leaves in the gold and silver. This is three and a quarter by four. So this is going to just be our card front. And here's what I did. I took the um, Stampin' Blend marker, and this is the Dark Rich Razzleberry, and I colored in these leaves. And again, if you like to color, this can be very soothing. If you don't like to color, instead of doing bigger pieces like this, what you could do is just do strips like this. Like you could do a strip of these leaves and color the leaves, a few leaves in. It's, it's not gonna kill you. And I think I'm gonna get out of the lines here. I usually go around and outline with a smaller end, but for time purposes, I don't wanna keep you guys watching me coloring stuff. So I've got a really cool technique I'm gonna show you with this. So this may not be my best work. It's a lot of pressure coloring with you guys watching me. And you want to make sure you don't go out of the lines, right? So this, this whole, like this whole pack of cards or um, designer series paper, almost is like a giant adult coloring book. Bill Collins is on. Can you guys hear him? I love this song. It's a blast from the past. Somebody asked me what time, um, what radio station I was listening to. And this is iHeartRadio, and it's actually on my cable TV channel. It's on my TV. And I have AT&T Uverse, and I didn't even know, but I guess I have iHeartRadio channel too. So that worked out well for all of us, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, I didn't do too bad. There's a couple of them that I kind of got out of the lines a little bit. But here's what we're gonna do now. 
we are going to take the Elegant Eggplant ink and a sponge. And here's a tip I'm gonna give you. This is important. Keep your fingerprints off this paper because I noticed when I was touching it that I had fingerprints. And we are just going to sponge color on. And it sponges really, really nice and even, which is unusual. Usually when you're sponging on cardstock, you get kind of globs unless you do real light and then harder pressure. But with this, it doesn't do that. And then you're gonna take your tissue and you're going to wipe off the little bit of ink that is left on the silver foil to really brighten that up. What do you guys think? Ta -da! And then we're gonna do it to this. And this is where the cool part comes in. As if that wasn't cool enough, we're getting cooler. <laughs> we're also gonna use Elegant Eggplant right here. Let me get my tissue so I can hold my piece of cardstock. And do you guys see what's happening here? I am adding ink to this and it is not discoloring the rich razzleberry leaves that I colored. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, this is like a whole new deal. Now, here's what I know. I thought, can I do this on regular cardstock? So I pulled out some Whisper White cardstock. Thanks you guys for showing the love. I know, Linda, right? I couldn't believe it. Um, I pulled out some Whisper White cardstock and I colored on it with my um, alcohol marker and then I did this. I rubbed the ink all over it and it didn't work. There's something about this springtime foil paper with that coating on it that allows you to do this and it will not discolor. Of course, your foil, your silver and your gold are a resist because they're embossed. But the alcohol markers, it will not let the color penetrate those. Super cool, right? So are you guys like buzzing with anticipation of what you're going to do with this technique? Yeah, I can imagine. I know I would be. And remember, this whole pack of paper is free with your $50 order. So I just tape these two together. I like to do that. Oh, Let's do this too. We need to color this little tiny strip. I forgot to tell you about this. This is one inch. I think it's one inch. Maybe it's three quarters of an inch. I'll measure in just a second. And you can just keep adding color until you get the intensity or the darkness that you want with whatever color you're sponging. This is three quarters of an inch by four. And I'm just going to attach this to my inside layer as a little decoration. Isn't that pretty? Delicious! Okay, let's get this put together and then I'll show you what I did with the rest of this card. Move my ink pad. You guys all saw that disaster ready to happen, didn't ya? I beat myself from messing that all up. There we go. Okay. And then I am going to bring in my silver edged ribbon. And one thing I want to tell you guys, I think I showed you this last week. Don't forget, you can take, <clears throat> excuse me, you can take your alcohol marker and you can color this ribbon any color you want it to be. So I colored this piece with Rich Razzleberry dark. And then I decided that I really liked the pop of the ribbon being just white. So I'm going to set this aside and use it for something else. I'm not going to throw it away, but I'm going to use it for something else. And I decided I really wanted this to be white. So it's kind of how the process goes, right? The creative process. It's like you kind of think of something and you try it out and you're like, well, I don't know if that's really working for me and then you try a different thing and it's like yep that's it that's what I needed I know Sheila I love the color combo too Sheila was one of our winners she just got her prize in the mail um, within the last couple days I remember she sent me an email saying thank you and you're welcome Sheila okay then um, I'm going to take this 
And I'm gonna take, I've got a little piece of our mini silver sequins here and I'm just going to lay that right down where I'm going to tie this single knot. Lady Gaga, can you hear her? Okay, and now I've flipped it upside down, so hang tight. There we go. That will never work for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of weird about stuff like that. I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm one of those people, like, if you're going to do something, do it right. Otherwise, what's your point? Kind of harsh that way. Okay, there we go. Pretty so far, right? So then this is what I decided to do to my card to finish it off. I'm going to use Rich Razzleberry, and I'm coming in with, where did my stamp set go? Did you guys see where I put my stamp set? Right here. I'm coming in with the Life is So Much Better with You in it. This petal palette, the whole bundle, the whole suite is amazing. This comes, um, <clears throat> it has the black and white paper on it. I absolutely love and all of these fabulous greetings in here. This is one of my favorites out of the Occasions mini catalog. So I just chose the greeting from there, and I'm going to ink this up in Rich Razzleberry ink, and I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle of one of my stitched shape framelits. And I think I got that a little too high, and that's why we have two sides, right? <laughs> Turn it over and try that baby again. And we're gonna put some glue. I'm gluing that to one of the scallop circles in Rich Razzleberry. I think that's gonna make this pop really nice. Dimensionals on the back to lift it up. Here we go. You guys know the little trick. I'll, I'll tell you the little trick on the next card with the dimensionals. I think you, you might know it. Here we go. Let's get this masterpiece put together. Here we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Thank you for showing the love. Thanks, Mary. I thought the white ribbon with the sequins went fabulous too, right? Let me move this over just a little bit. Yeah, and this is just a really easy way to use these sequins. Hang on, I've got it kind of twisted here. Is to um, just tuck them in to where you're tying your knot. There we go. Now I got it. There we go. <laughs> like the sound effects? Perfect. So there's another cool technique with this foil paper. Let me get my mess cleaned up here because I've got something even cooler to show you if you can believe that. This next thing is going to rock your socks. How's everybody doing? Are you still with me? Julie has this paper coming. Yay, Julie! Thank you, Sheila. Thank you so much. Okay. Here we go. I am pulling out the big guns. And we are going to use just a whole bunch of great stuff here. Let me see. Get my stamp set out here. Here comes my cardstock and my inks. And my scalloped edge and blends again. I'm almost giddy. I can't hardly wait to show you this. This is super, super cool. Hang on, I'm getting tangled up in cords. I have one of those, um, you know, plastic mats under my chair to roll around on, you know, like you see in offices. And it's a, it's a much less expensive um, um, version. It's not real thick. So one day I rolled over the edge of it with my chair and it kind of caught on it and pulled it backwards. So now every time I'm rolling around, I have to pick my chair up and put the wheel over that edge because it keeps getting caught on it. Oh my Lord. Like <laughs> it's just maddening. I can't even tell you how frustrating it is. So I'm going to have to buy a new mat, figure out a way to keep it pinched down so that doesn't happen again. All right. 
Here we go. So I've got some cool things going on here. First, this is what we're going to do. We are going to, hang on, where did my, I lost something. Here we go. We are going to take this copper foil paper and here's the framelits that come in the Celebrate You um, thinlets, I mean thinlet set. And this is free with your $100 order. These thinlets, you know, any dies are more expensive, so Stampin' Up! I was thrilled to death that they allowed um, something like that to be part of celebration. So when you place a $100 order, you get these free. They also very nicely go along with the amazing U stamp set, and this is free with your $50 order. If you place a $150 order, you can get both of these free, and you get Stampin' Rewards, which is another $15 in anything you want. So it's a pretty good deal if you need to put an order in and you're stocking up on cardstock and whatever, you just wanna buy a bunch of the stuff. Or Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers, those are fabulous. So first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to um, use this, um, this is our ad adhesive sheets. These are permanent adhesive sheets, and they come in a pack like this. You get 12 sheets of these. I think that's what it said, 12 sheets. Yep, and they are 6 by 12 inches long, so you get a whole bunch in here whole bunch of these babies. And here's what you do with them. They are fabulous for these intricate um, dies. I am going to take the, oops, this is the sticky part. I'm going to take the sticky part and I'm going to put it on the back of my foil sheet here. So I'm just going to stick it right here. And I did get some, this stuff is really, really sticky. So, you know, you want to keep your fingers away from it as much as you can. Then we're going to bring our Big Shot in here again. So bear with me. Here comes our Big Shot. And I'm going to bring in the scallop die. Make sure this is where my sticky paper is. So I'm going to make sure that this is die cut down here. And I'm gonna die cut this up here. By the way, this is four by five and a quarter. Okay, here we go. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. We're 45 minutes or so in. Yeah, Becky, they are really sticky. And Kathy says, have you tried heating up your chair mat? You know what? That's exactly what my husband said. And I did try that, and it didn't work worth a darn. I mean, like, it just did nothing. And I heated it with our um, my embossing heat tool. And, you know, that gets up to 400 degrees or whatever it is. And it didn't matter. It, it didn't do anything. I was really disgusted. But thank you for that suggestion because... Um, yeah, that's what I thought, too. My husband, heat that up, and that'll lay back down. Okay, here's our scallop. Let me bring in our card base. I'm just going to switch gears here for a second. Squirrel! <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's a struggle for me to stay on one task here. I'm going to pop this out. Um, hang tight here. Let me think for just a second. What am I going to do? This is actually going to be layered on our card as a layer. So I'm going to wait to pull this out and do that until I'm done with our super cool, amazing technique. You are going to gasp and go crazy over this. I kid you not. Okay, I am using, this is actually Dark Night of Navy and Light Night of Navy and the two um, old olives. This cardstock is Pacific Point. So um, once I got these flowers colored, I thought that Pacific Point really made this whole card pop. So what I did is, whoops, I'm gonna go with my smaller end. I came in here with the Stampin' Blend alcohol marker. Now this is the Dark Night of Navy. And then I was gonna tell you, one thing I want you to be aware of. If you go out of the lines, we have this color lifter. 
And um, I've shown the color lifter on some other videos that I've done and how fabulous it is. It's just like magic. It picks up that color if you do it right away. Picks up the color where you may be colored out of, out of the lines. And it dries and you don't even know that you ever made a mistake. What I found on this paper, because it has that coating on it, is when I went out of the lines and tried to come in and use the color lifter to pick up that color, it picked it up. But when I did the next thing I'm going to do to this, the next thing that I'm going to show you, it left marks. So like the color lifter left a residue on the, this particular designer series paper that wasn't real attractive. So I'm telling you all that so that you be a little careful when you're coloring this and don't think that you're going to use your color lifter on it for this particular technique because it doesn't work right. There's just something about this paper that doesn't allow the color lifter. I mean, it works. And if we weren't going to do anything else to this particular layer, it would be fine. But what we're going to do, not so good. So, and I love, who thinks the color lifter is just like complete magic? It's absolutely magical. Love, love, love it. And somebody says, well, once you lift off the color, then how do you clean the color off the color lifter? There's no color on the color lifter. It like completely disappears. It's the weirdest thing ever. And that's where the magic part comes in. It's like you have Harry Potter in your stamp studio with you, casting spells. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. Okay, so you're gonna go around and you're gonna color, 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 and then you're gonna come in and you're gonna do your leaves and you're gonna color them. And, and um, I forgot to do my little shading here. Do your shading. I did shading with the blue. Now I'm doing shading with the leaves. You're going to color all these in. And again, be careful not to go out of the lines. Then we're going to come in with the lighter Night of Navy and color the flowers. And guess what? Because I figured you guys probably didn't want to sit here and watch me color this whole piece with all these images on it that I had the brilliant idea. You like how I just really <laughs> put myself right up there on that pedestal? I had the brilliant idea to color this ahead of time. So I spent quite a bit of time prepping. And isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I am so in love with how this turns out. And you hang tight because I've got two more cards I made with this whole thing that I will show you when we're done. Thank you. Thank you, Patsy. I know I do have kind of a fun laugh, don't I? Okay. I can see that um, this piece I forgot to cut down. So I'm going to do that right now because it's not the right size. So I'm glad I kind of put it up to this one. This piece, your layer here should be five by, I believe, three and three quarters. Yeah. So we're going to do five by three and three quarters. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to finish this one later. Hang on, I'm getting twisted up in cords again. All right, so here's where the coolest technique in the whole world comes in. I hope you're ready for this. I've got a black Memento ink pad. I better have a drink of Pepsi. Hang tight. I'm gonna turn my music back on. They had advertising on there, but now Michael Jackson's on, so woohoo. Okay, here we go. Memento black ink. And are you screaming and going, oh my gosh, what on earth is she doing? Has she completely lost all of her marbles? Because I am a little crazy. We know that. Look at that. Yep, I am doing direct to paper. I am making a big mess on this gorgeous piece that I just spent all that time coloring. Well, I actually colored this one last night, but. And now we are going to come in. Let me grab another. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the magic happen. Is this not crazy? 
I just spread black ink all over this layer and the alcohol marker is resisting the black ink. I don't know why, I don't understand it. It's got some resist properties in it and this is the totally coolest technique ever. What do you think of that? I know, wow, right? <laughs> it's completely crazy. Okay, hang on, let me get my little mess cleaned up here. And I will show you what I did with this card because it's pretty cool. All right, we've got this and this. And I have... Oh, I think I cut that wrong. Let me see. Nope, I cut the right size out. Okay, so here's what I did. I took another circle and I cut the U out of it here. So I cut the U. Oh, I lost my... Oh, no, there it is. I cut the U out of there. I'm going to lay this down on my copper paper. And I've got a backup circle right here in case this whole thing goes south. <laughs> so <laughs> I am prepared tonight. I am going to take this piece and get it in place. Oops, I'm going to put the U back in here. And then I'm going to take the circle that you would normally just throw away and set that back in place after I put some glue in there. So hang on. There we go. And now I'm going to set this back in the middle of the O. And the pokey tool really helps to get that back in there where it belongs. There we go. Okay. And now, oops. It's all moving around. Hang on. We need to keep this in place. There we go. And I want to pull this up. And then we're going to come back in here. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I think this is just a really cute idea, too. I don't know where I came up with this one from. I think I just went, hey, this seems like a good idea. Sometimes you just have those good ideas. I know, right, you guys? It is amazing. So what made me think of that technique? I actually saw it on a video when I was searching around for what I was going to be doing tonight. And, um, yeah, so I, somebody else came up with that. I, I didn't come up with it. Her card was pretty, too, believe me. Ugh, hang on, I got this crooked. And now I... Don't you hate it when that happens? I don't want to ruin this whole layer, but um, dimensionals really stick. Like they really stick to this stuff. So here we go, let's try this again. Okay, this is gonna be so much better. There we go. Okay, so we've got that going on and it says you are simply, and now here comes our amazing, and it's got the sticker paper on the back of it here. Did anybody see my pokey tool? Here it is. We've got just a couple little things we need to poke out of here before we lay this down. And, oh, I think we got all of them here. So, you are simply amazing. So I'm gonna stick that right there. I'm gonna stick that there. Now what about, oh, it's crooked. Whew, that was lucky. What about the rest of the sticky that's back here that's not stuck to anything? I want to put this on dimensionals, and um, it's not going to stick to my card front, right? So here's what you do. You take your embossing buddy, and you put some powder on it, and that makes it not sticky anymore. Have you guys ever done this? Yeah. So there we go. All right. Here goes. Are you are simply amazing onto I think I still want to keep it right here onto my card front oh my gosh that's so pretty I love the way that you is in there you know what else I might have done is put a mini dimensional under this circle on the O that might have been a really cool idea too so if you recreate this you can do that so now what I'm going to do is, oops, I gotta get this off of here. Oh, nope, oh, here we go. 
I used this to cut out my circle scallop and my amazing and this is like a paper saving tip because you know foil paper is not that cheap <laughs> I guess for 12 by 12 it's five dollars but still look at we used that so we didn't have to use more foil paper and then here comes our card completely put together and again remember I use Knight of Navy ink here or the Stampin' Blends what do you guys think oh my gosh right I'm really impressed with this okay so you want to see the other ones that I made I'm so excited to show you um, let me clean up my mess here just a little bit I don't want to lose anything Oh, I know what I was going to show you. I've got one more thing to show you before I do that. Let me put these away. I am going to... Oh, I told you that I had this circle as a backup just in case I flubbed everything up. I'm going to take some Memento ink. And this little stamp set, it's got a bunch of really neat little words in it. So what I did is I put um, Let's Celebrate You together on one stamp and I spaced them so they would be just perfect let me see if I can find it is there another amazing here I had a black one. Oh, here it is I knew I had a black amazing laying around here um, of course this would look nicer if it was a different color but this is how I did the greetings that are on the cards I'm going to show you now so again, let me clean this mess up. And I know I didn't put anything on the inside of this card yet because I figured I'd kind of be pushing for time. This was a lot of coloring and cutting and all that good stuff. Here's the other card. What do you guys think of that? This is Bermuda Bay with the old olives. And there you can see where I did that. Um, where'd that circle thing go that I just did? Well, I don't even, did you guys, see? oh, here it is. This is what I'm telling you. I used an oval here, I used the circle here, and then just put the amazing in copper right on there. Thanks, you guys. And next, I've got one more to show you. Here is the cherry cobbler, which looks just very real reddish, right? But this is Cherry Cobbler. This one uses the circle. We've got an oval, a circle, and a smaller circle with the U cut out. So what do you guys think of that one? I did put whites inside here, but I haven't done anything to them yet. Yeah, thanks. I was pretty excited. I was, you know how you get giddy when you make something and you just love what you came up with? I was giddy over these, and I, I just almost couldn't even stand it to wait to show you guys this. And again, I'm using the foil paper and the Amazing You and the Celebrate You Thin Lips. These are both free celebration selections as well as this paper. So who's got their, their lists growing by the second here? <laughs> With stuff you're gonna have to have, right? Um, oh, this one I forgot to tell you. I stamped that in the Pacific Point, the R, you are simply amazing and that little um that little are simply comes right here in the amazing you stamp set so let me bring all these cards back in with the foil like holy cow right oh my gosh i had so much fun with this paper i can't even tell you now you guys don't forget Share my video. Share it all over the place. Um, you're leaving comments that'll enter you in a drawing. Sharing my video will enter you in a drawing. And also, when you place orders in my online store, you can head over to my blog at www.astampabove.com and you'll find an online ordering button in the right-hand screen. I appreciate all your orders. That's what keeps me in business and doing what I absolutely love. I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my, of my heart for joining me tonight and supporting me in this Facebook Live thing. I'm having a blast with it. 
Does anybody have any questions before I sign off? Um, I will be on next Sunday again at 6 p.m. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, I do have some suggestions that um, I wanted to do this foil paper this week and kind of keep a whole theme going. But next week, I think maybe we'll do something with ink and embossing folders. I know somebody had requested um, some Get Well cards. Um, I will probably do a little bit more variety than sticking with all one product here. So that's kind of nice. But... Um, play with this, this paper, and then smearing that ink over the top was just simply amazing, don't you think? I loved it. Okay, um, what kind of glue am I using? Was that, Yvonne, Levon wants to know, this is our mono liquid glue. This is multi-purpose mono liquid glue. This is a product that I sell. And I don't remember if it's like $4 or something, but it lasts forever and I love it. I stand by this glue 100%. It's almost the only glue that I ever use, like the only adhesive I use to make cards. Sometimes you need fast fuse, sometimes you need a tape runner to put under your ribbon or whatever, but otherwise I'm all about the glue, LaVon. Thank you for asking that. Um, okay, so we've got some suggestions here. Oh, some stamp sets that not many people use, like the chocolate candy one or the dino set. I've got the dino set. That's a great idea. I will go back through all the comments, you guys, and if you've asked a question that I have not answered, I will, um, I will get back to you and answer your question. And yes, uh, this particular card, Cheryl, this is basic gray, and I've done copper, and then... These are the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers in Cherry Cobbler, light and dark, and then the Old Olives, light and dark. Is Fast Fuse going to come back? No, I don't believe that it is. Um, Fast Fuse had a learning curve with it, Shelby, and um, people learned too late that the biggest problem they were having with it is they were pushing too hard. And they couldn't get the tape to come out, and then they were breaking the tape inside the dispenser. And Stampin' Up! was having to replace it constantly. And really, the only problem there was with Fast Fuse is it uses a lighter touch than your tape runners. You just have to, you know, not press as hard, and it worked like a charm. But, you know, we can only get the word out to so many people. And I, I truly feel that Stampin' Up! was just kind of losing their butt on replacements of Fast Fuse because... Um, people, you know, people were buying it, but they weren't necessarily getting the message that you needed to use a light touch with it. So I don't think it's coming back. Julie, coffee cafe ideas. I have, I think, four or five cards on my YouTube channel, and all you have to do is search for Kelly Atchison on YouTube. I have at least four or five videos with the coffee cafe making some fun fold cards, and I also have an online class with the coffee cafe there are eight cards in this class i have a video tutorial for each one of them that is available on my blog for twenty dollars once you order that i send you a pdf file that gives you um, all the directions and pictures and links to the video to make all eight cards and let me tell you they're pretty spectacular i got an overwhelming response to that I don't have any card kits with all the cardstock cut left because it was just, it went gonzos. It was crazy and it was fabulous. But um, I do have an online class with that coffee cafe that makes some incredible cards. There's even a card in there that has coffee in it. Like not a packet of coffee either. It's really cute. So um, just get in touch with me if you would like to order that. What are the beads on my scissors? Okay, my friend Lori Krause, she, whenever we get together and I see her at convention or at the on stages, um, we're very good friends and she will always bring some type of a jewelry gift. Um, I'm not wearing the necklace she made me tonight, but I wear it a lot. This is a charm. This is an earring, an earring uh, holdery thing. And she turned it into a little charm to go on our scissors. And it says, made with love on this little heart. So isn't that cute? And that was a gift she gave to me. I've got several gifts in my office 
from um, Lori. Let me grab another one here. She's made me earrings. Oh my gosh, she makes all kinds of stuff. Here's another cute little gift that she sent me. Isn't that just adorable? The sweet little stocking and it hangs by this thing. So that's what the beads are. And when I have to take my scissors someplace, this distinguishes that these are mine. Um, so there's no mixing them up with somebody else's scissors too. Linda, Linda says she did my online class. Linda, what did you think of that online class? I got just a really a lot of um, great, great comments back on it. Okay, um, Steve, my husband is watching. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you wearing the charm I bought you? I wore that last week, honey. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's out in the garage watching me live. That's too funny. Um, yeah, he's quite a character. Okay, does anybody have any other questions? Oh, Patsy's saying, hi, Steve. How much is the Coffee Cafe card class? It is $20. There's a PayPal button on my blog. As a matter of fact, when I get done with this live video, I will probably um, put a link in to where you'll find all the information on the class. You can get the class for free when you order the bundle with a couple extras and you would then contact me and um, say that you wanted to do that and I you would pay through PayPal and um, I would get all that together for you and again it has to be paid for up front but you get the online class for free which is a $20 value so when you place that order through me you get the class for free. Otherwise, you can just buy the PDF, the class, with all the video tutorials for 20 bucks. Oh, and Steve is in the kitchen, so there you go. I did not hear him um, come in the house. Kathy, you would love the class, it's fabulous. And I agree with you, Julie, Coffee Cafe is one of my favorites, too. Oh, and Beth says the coffee grounds cracked me up. She took the class and she said it was really nice. Thank you so much, Beth. I had a lot of fun putting that together. Are you cooking dinner, Steve? Patsy wants to know if you're cooking dinner. He actually told me he was going to make shrimp, shrimp something, shrimp scampi. Yeah, and he said I would be running in the kitchen and trampling people to get there for it. That's what he told me earlier. <laughs> yeah, my husband is a character, believe me. <laughs> so, yeah, he made... um venison stroganoff the other night which was fabulous he cooked up some pork chops um what else has he got in the fridge he's got a bunch of food in there for me to eat and i just kind of started a diet today because i've gained like mm, over 20 pounds in the last year and it's really making me crazy and none of my clothes fit and i just feel horrible so this morning i got up and i did wait for it richard simmons workout class are you kidding me i have the dvds and he is hysterical i did the cardio one and the toning one and then i went for a very long walk down to the lake we live like four five six seven blocks from the lake walked down to the lake walked through that neighborhood and came back at a very um quick pace so i got out and got some exercise let's see what does my fitbit say today 9,000 steps. So, and yesterday I got over 10,000 steps because we went shopping at the mall, right? But I ate at Rocky Rococo Pizza, so that wasn't helpful. But anyways, um, thanks you guys so much. I'm going to sign off now. I'll go back through and um, catch any questions that I may have missed and your suggestions that you're leaving for me. I will be doing drawings and I will um, announce them next week for the winners for sharing my video, commenting on this live feed or after the feed is posted. And um, ordering, sharing, commenting. We'll have some more prizes going. Oh, you love Richard too. I know, right? You watched him in the 80s. We're dating ourselves, Kathy. But yeah. So um, the video will be posted to my Facebook page. If you missed any part of it, once I get it posted, you can go back and watch it. And you can always refer back to it too. These cards are gonna be on my blog. Probably Tuesdays seem to work pretty good for me unless I have a blog hop going on. Um, Monday, tomorrow I'm in the Color Fusers blog hop, but probably Tuesday I'll put these cards on with photos and dimensions and all the ingredients that I used in case you missed something. Again, thank you guys. Oh. 
Don't forget to use the hostess code. Yes, thank you so much. This is the March hostess code. Beth, you are a lifesaver. We've got G-U-9-2-T-R-T-4. Use that hostess code when placing your order if it's under $150. If it's over $150, don't use it because you'll get $15 minimum in benefits from Stampin' Up! to spend on anything you want. So it's pretty fabulous. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for all the love. You have made this so fun. I can't even tell you. I can't wait till next week. I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to show you next week. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.